Hello everyone, I'm Reza from Radicad and today I'm going to show you what is inactive relationship, which is the second or the third relationship um, that you add between two tables. It is a dashed line, what are problems with that and how you can solve it using something called role-playing dimensions. Let's check it out. As you can see here, I have a simple Power BI uh, model. It's sourced from AdventureWorks. You can download the AdventureWorks from the link to my blog article down under this video. Um, I have two tables here, fact internet sales table, which is the sales transaction and then date, which is the date uh, table that I have. These two are already connected to each other through a date key. And this connection, this relationship basically means that if I go here and start building a visualization by uh, sales from the sales amount from the sales table and let's say something like calendar year from the date table, it works perfectly fine. It slice and dice data by uh, uh, data of the fact table, the sales table by dimension table. That's what the relationship is. Now you might want also to have this applied on another uh, date field because uh, in some of the tables you have more than one date field. Here is one of those examples. So in this table I have the order date also, I have something else called due date. I have ship date. Let me show you this in zoomed window. So this is order date that I used already for my relationship. I might want to use due date as well for my relationship. And uh, for that, then we go and create another relationship between due date key and the date key. But as soon as we create the second one, or even the third one, let's say I create one between ship date key and date key, uh, I create those because I need uh, to analyze those data as well. Ship date is different from due date, that is different from order date. But as soon as I create those, the second and the third and even more relationships that you add will be slightly different. You see, these relationships are dashed relationship compared to the first one, which was a solid line. The first relationship you add between two tables is active relationship. Everything that creates after that between these two tables is inactive relationship. You cannot have more than one active relationship between two tables. Now, uh, what is inactive relationship? Inactive relationship, as the name of that mentions, is a relationship which is not active. So if I go to my, uh, my report, when I'm slicing and dicing uh, sales by something from the date table, I'm using only active relationship. That means this only a slice and dice data by the active relationship. An active relationship is based on the order date key. So that means those two relationships are not doing anything at all. Inactive relationship doesn't really do anything at all unless you actually use it. There is a specific DAX function called use relationship, which will, um, uh, which will give you the ability to use these inactive relationships. I'll mention that in another video, uh, why we want to use that and what are scenarios to use it. But in this video, I'm going to show you another method. A method that I'm going to show you to solve this is called role-playing dimensions. Uh, role-playing dimension is a dimension in your data model that plays multiple roles. Date is a dimension table. Dimension table means it's descriptive table, a table that you use in axes of charts, in filters, or slicers. Now, this date table sometimes acts like order date, sometimes acts like ship date, sometimes acts like due date. And uh, in this case, it's date. In some other cases, it might be customer, it might be product, other stuff, right? So how we do that uh, process? I'm going to first delete these inactive relationships because I'm not going to use those. Uh, using DAX, so I'll remove that. Now I'm going to create copies or clones of this date table. And the way that you can create those copies is different places. If this, if you are getting this from database, you can create multiple views from that database. In edit queries, in Power Query, you can create references from that. Uh, but the best place to do this is in the data tab, in the modeling tab, here is the place that you can actually create a new table. What is 
the, why this is the best place to do that. The reason is that if you do that in Power Query or if you do that everywhere else, every time it reads it multiple times from the data source. And if you have like 10 tables, 15 tables, your refresh time will get longer. But uh, you already have the database table read and loaded into the Power BI. So when you use this option, new table, you are just creating a copy, a clone of that in memory. It will still use the same amount of memory, but it would be much faster in the refresh time because you are only refreshing one table. Uh, and then the rest happens, all of the remaining refreshes happens in the memory, right? So I'm creating a new table. I call it ship date. And I use a specific DAX function for that. Let me zoom to my here. All is a function that gives you a copy of that table. So if I say all dim date, that means copy of the dim date, right? And make sure you close the bracket after all. Uh, then I come here, ship date is like a normal table. Then I can connect that using the ship date key and date key. And this would be active relationship because this is totally a different table. I can use the same approach, create another one for due date which would be again all dim date. And when I do that, this will create another table for due date. I'll bring it over here and then creating the connection with the due date key and date key. I zoomed in a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit hard to find that out. Okay, here it is. So then due date key comes to the date key. So I have created this scenario. With this scenario, I have all active relationships. I have different tables. I have to also rename this one from dim date to be something else. Like to be, let me rename it. Anyway, it doesn't allow me to rename there. I'll rename it here. So order date. So I have my order date, ship date, due date. This is what role playing dimension is. Uh, we use this approach when our tables are small. Date table is really a small table for 20 years. For example, you might have only 7,000 rows. Uh, we don't do this approach for big tables. Like if you have a table with 5 million rows, 6 million rows, and if you create duplicates of those, it will consume a lot of memory. So performance might uh, might be impacted by that method. In those cases, we'll keep the relationship inactive, but we'll use that function, which is called use relationship in DAX. I'll mention that in another video. But this method is good for small tables, for scenarios that you want to analyze data of that table by one of these at a time. You can have combination as well, but you cannot have one uh, date table to filter uh, sales transactions by two different attributes by due date and ship date that is something that you can do with the um with the use relationship function i'll explain about that so that was it this is role playing dimension how to implement it uh, and how to use it in power bi very simple to use uh, if you liked this video go ahead and subscribe to our channel uh, we have frequent power bi and ai videos coming up thanks